So what if the ice cream man came around and you wanted to buy an ice cream cone with your own money? Well, the first thing you're going to do is your frontal lobe is going to help you decide, is it worth using my allowance money or the money I earned to buy this ice cream cone? Once the frontal lobe helps you make that decision, then what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the ice cream truck and you're going to look at the ice cream cone. So your occipital cortex where your vision is, is going to help you interpret what you see so you know which ice cream bar that you want to pick. Now, once you've made that decision to buy that ice cream cone with the help of your frontal lobe, and you've actually seen the ice cream cone with the help of your occipital lobe, now it's time to touch the ice cream and to eat it. And so it's your parietal lobe, including your sensory cortex, that's going to help you interpret the taste of that ice cream. Oh, it's so good. And to feel the ice cream, the coldness of it. That's your parietal lobe helping you. And then lastly, we remember how good ice cream is. We always want to have another ice cream cone. Well, that's your temporal lobe. Your temporal lobe is helping you remember that you like ice cream. So next time when you see ice cream, you'll know you want it again, thanks to our temporal lobe.